So the title of our book today is If You Give a Mouse a Cookie. And it's by Laura Numeroff, and the illustrator is Felicia Bond. If you give a mouse a cookie, he's going to ask for a glass of milk. When you give him the milk, he'll probably ask you for a straw. And when he's finished, he'll ask for a napkin. Then he'll want to look in the mirror to make sure he doesn't have a milk mustache. Hello, Blue. When he looks in the mirror, he might notice his hair needs a trim. So he'll probably ask for a pair of nail scissors. When he's finished giving himself a trim, he'll want a broom to sweep up. He might get carried away and sweep every room in the house. He may end up even washing the floors as well. And when he's done, he'll probably want to take a nap. You'll have to fix up a little box for him with a blanket and a pillow. He'll crawl in and make himself comfortable and fluff the pillow a few times. He'll probably ask you to read him a story. So you'll read to him from one of your books and he'll ask to see the pictures. When he looks at the pictures, he'll get so excited, he'll want to draw one of his own. He'll ask for paper and crayons. He'll draw a picture. When the picture is finished, He'll want to sign his name. With a pen. Then he'll want you to hang his picture on your refrigerator, which means he'll need scotch tape. He'll hang up his drawing and stand back to look at it Looking at the refrigerator will remind him that he's thirsty. So he'll ask for a glass of milk and chances are if he asks for a glass of milk he's going to want a cookie to go with it. And that's the end of If You Give a Mouse a Cookie. Did you notice some of those sounds that we've been working on and in reading interventions and foundations? Ooh, and cool, so cookie. There's lots of them in here. See you next time. Bye-bye.